Hi everybody, I'm Yair from Rain the Dog and today we will study about WebDriver in 5 minutes. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started. First of all, Selenium is an open source tool aimed to automate web testing via web browser. Many people make the mistake of calling Selenium the testing framework. A testing framework is a topic for another lecture and it will be about test and G, but for now we'll just say that Selenium only automate our UI actions on web browser. It also supports several browsers such as Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Edge and much more. And it supports several programming languages such as Java, Python, C Sharp, Ruby on Rails and much more. So what is this Selenium web driver? Why is it called a web driver even? In order to understand what is a web driver, we'll use an example of a simple printer and printer driver. So let's say it's our printer. And let's say that we bought a printer from HP. And here we have our computer. Let's say we're opening Google Docs. And we have this document, which has two pages. And we want to send this document to the printer. But we only want to print the first page. So in a perfect world, we'll just send the document to the printer and it will work. Usually, we'll expect a big company like HP to work flawlessly because it would integrate with your operating system. It doesn't matter if it's Mac, Linux or Windows. Let's say that you bought a printer from a less known brand. You would expect it to work the same. What is really happening that here in the middle, you're going to have some driver and it will be the printer driver. So all the communication of my uh, software, in this case the Google Docs, will be mediated by the printer driver. I'll send all the commands to the printer driver and then the printer driver knows how to deal with the specific printer. In this case I have the, my HP driver or I'll have another Lexmark driver and etc. Now we understand why do we even need a driver for our printer? Because we have several manufacturers, we have many, and we have only one computer, one code. So there is one endpoint from this one and it goes here. And then this software doesn't need to be worried about the other side, the printer. By the way, you can also print you a PDF printer, which will create a PDF document for you. So you can see that we can use it in a versatile way by using the printer driver. In a very similar manner, we have the web driver. So let's say that we have our web browser. We'll assume this is Google Chrome. So this is the web page. This is Rain the Dog website. And we have a picture here and we have some titles. We have link, we have footer, and whatever we have in our web page. And on the other hand, I have my IDE. Let's say I'm working with IntelliJ or PyCharm, and I'm writing my code. So I want to send a command. Let's say that this one is asking for my browser to navigate to Google. What I defined here is a web driver. I don't have to specify when I write my code that this driver is a Chrome or Safari or Firefox. I can just use the web driver. Then whenever I want to specifically refer to Google Chrome, I will say that I refer to the Chrome driver. This one will be my mediator and it will read my code and send the command of the navigation to the URL of the browser. In that manner, I can use a very versatile code. I can write it only once and I can run it on multiple devices without having to change anything. 
In a very similar way, by the way, Selenium is working with mobile browsers. So we have this mediator. This is the web driver. And this one can be either Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Edge, and etc. So that's all for today. I hope that you found it useful. If you did find it useful, please comment in the comment section down below. And also, if you find our video appealing to you and you want us to make and create more content, consider clicking the subscribe button. Thank you for your support. And until next time, have a good day.